Good day everyone. Today we will be exploring the Adobe Anime environment. Adobe Animate lets you create digital media content including graphics, animation, audio, video, and interactive media. It is most commonly used for animated and or interactive content on web pages. How to create a new file? Upon opening Adobe Animate, a start page will be displayed showing you options to open a recently edited document, create new kinds of document, or create a document using a pre-built template. This will be the interface of Adobe Animate. The interface. After creating a new document, you will see a big white rectangle in the middle this is called the, the stage. This is where you put the objects for your document such as text, images, buttons, and animation. Surrounding the stage are the panel. The letter A, as you can see here, is the stage. The rectangle in the middle is the stage. These tools surrounding the stage is called panel. Panels are commonly called the animate workspace or authoring environment. The document properties, frame speed, stage size, stage color. The default panel found on the right is called the properties panel. If you don't see it, go to the Windows tab, Properties to make it appear. The Properties panel contains the frame, frame speed, stage size, and stage color. This is the Properties panel. This one is called the Frame Speed. Frame Speed or FPS is a numerical value that indicates how many frames per second are displayed when running an animate file. The higher the value, the faster each frames. This one is called the stage size. It indicates the size, width, width and height of the stage in pixels or px. It can also be changed to inches, points, centimeters, and millimeters. This one is the stage color. It indicates the color of the stage. To change it, just click the currently selected color, then choose a new color from the color palette. This one at the upper side of the stage is the ruler. Rulers, ruler bars are located at the top and left side of the stage. It lets you measure with width and height of animate elements as well as place guides on the screen to control the placement of object on the stage. These vertical and horizontal lines are called grid. They are by default 10 pixels apart from each other. It is helpful when drawing on the stage. This one is the guides. Guides need for grids and guides are varies depending on the type of document you are working on. They are useful for aligning text and graphics to interface elements as well as Compose proportion layouts. The blue line is the guide. There is a function in Adobe Animate which is called snapping. Snapping is used to automatically align graphic elements with one another.
let's talk about saving. Saving is important if you want to use or edit documents again. It is a good practice to save file every 5 minutes, just in case something bad happens, like the program crashing. This one right here is the interface when you click Save or Save As. Publishing. Publishing is an animate file lets you see your whole project. It is published as .swf and .html by default. But you can also publish it in different formats by modifying the settings. Let us try to do an activity together. Open Adobe animate and let's create a file so I will be using action script 2.0 just click it and you will your file is now created let us try to change the color of the stage I simply click stage and pick a color look at what happened to, to our stage let us try to change the size I can simply drag it and look at what happened to the size of our stage Now let's try to view the guides. To do this, you simply click view, check the rulers, okay, click view, check the grid, show grid. Click view again, check the guides, let's try to create a guide, and now let's try to save our file. Click on File, Save As, and choose your destined folder. If you want to publish it, click File, Publish. That will be all. Thank you for watching.